In order to create a new Globe green down or green up site, you're going to start by logging into the Globe website or the Globe Observer app. On the Globe website, you'll go to Globe Data and New Desktop Forms. At this point, this looks the same as in the Globe Observer app, so the process will be the same. You'll start by going to Create and Edit My Sites. From here, you can see any sites you already have set up um, at your organization, and you can add a new site. So you're going to give your new site a name. Uh, maybe it's the location um, or some kind of determining name. So I'll just say my phonology site. You have to enter your latitude and your longitude. If you are using the app, this will pull up automatically. You can also use the map and move um, the point to wherever your location is. If you have any site-specific comments, you can add them in here. For example, maybe um, the only place I can do this at my school is right next to my school building. So I might put that in the comments here. Then I'm going to click on Biosphere and Greening's site setup. The last step is to enter in the different trees or plants you'll be monitoring for your green up or green down study. So I'm gonna start by saying what vegetation type I have. I have a tree. And then I'm gonna to have to add in the genus and species of that tree. So you may need a, a tree guide to help you with this piece. Um, I'm gonna imagine I have a red maple. I'm gonna add the genus and species for that. And then I'm gonna add a label. So if I'm tagging my tree with some ribbon, maybe I will write M1 on that tag. So I know which tree I'm talking about, especially if I have more than one of the same species. If you have more than one plant you'll be monitoring at the site, then you're going to add another plant. So again, maybe I have a second tree. Um, maybe this one's also a red maple. So I'm gonna put the same thing in, but this one's gonna be maple too. And I'll continue on adding trees. I can add all the different species I have. When I have all my trees in here for that site, I'm gonna click Save Site and I'm done. And I can see um, down at the bottom, there it is, my phonology site. And I'm ready now to enter my data. And when I go into do data entry, I will enter it um, using this site.